I always mm. want to look at you, Emily. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder what we're giggling about. Oh, I got an ad. My computer fell asleep. Okay. Get a, let's see, skip, and you're good. Oh, I got an ad. Okay. Hey guys, happy Wednesday Friends Day. Emily's here with me today. Hello. We're going to paint another Pooh Bear. It's from the original 1926 Winnie the Pooh book. Um, E.H. Shepard is the illustrator. We're going to do this one where he's got his head in his honey pot. And I had to Google if honey was spelled wrong. I don't know if you could see that. <laughs> so we're going to fly over to my art table right away and get going. Oh, I had this all straightened. Now I'm yelling at you live <laughs> so I could <laughs> walk over the and cords. step on all the cords oh oh boy oh boy <laughs> I think I'm okay now okay <laughs> we really do need a oops that's too tight a goofiness cam I say that every time okay is it gonna adjust oh huh Hmm. I mean, I know he says two inches higher, but of course, the other thing that happens to me too is it's it's very dim when I set it up. I can't really see where the tape marks are. Yeah. I wonder if I just missed this time. I need to I need to scooch you up. Oh, I saw somebody comment. <laughs> hmm. I saw Suzanne said about a foot of snow. I appreciated the conversion from centimeters. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, to Google. I remember learning that in school, and then they just kind of gave up on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, did you ever, Em? I'm a whole generation. Oh, at some point. Did you? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all. Oh, I'm a whole generation older. Just that uh, the only thing I know is a meter stick is three feet. Mm. Right? Or is that a yardstick? A yardstick. So not even. Not I'm even. like, uh... Not even. Uh, <laughs> that's very wrong, yeah. That's okay. You just misspoke. I think you're picturing the right thing. A yardstick. So this image is in my Annie Tro Art Friends Facebook group. The link is in this video's description. I just found the black and white drawing online and I colored it in with colored pencil and then I scanned it in. And then I, I sized it down for a six by six inch canvas from, I'm pretty sure it's US Art Supply. I bought a whole bunch of them. And then I scribbled on the back with some black chalk pastel and made a traceable out of it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, I'm gonna set that. It's got chalk pastel on it, so I'm gonna kind of set it here. Actually, Em, can you reach to and just throw it away? Throw it away. Um, so I painted the background so it'd be dry. I have also in this video's description how to paint clouds video. And you may have seen it. I don't know if it was in the background of um, the intro. It's up on my wall behind me. And I just put in a couple of clouds. Here, we'll get them closer. I used a number one round, but in that video, I use all kinds of different brushes. So you can see how to paint clouds. And then the background is just horizontal strokes. And I'll go through my paint colors. And I put, I like to put color in my dirt or my grass. Hey, Chase Man. <laughs> Thank you so much. I happen to be looking at the top of my phone. <laughs> I really appreciate you. Okay. I think tonight, this time I'm going to paint Pooh Bear and then get out the Posca markers and then do it more like he did. Depending on how much. I think we'll have time. So I'm using primaries, what I call primaries. Um, titanium white is just call white it's just white and black aren't primers titanium white what do you call white it's white it's um mars black the absence of all color yes it is very good i believe <laughs> i had to think about it cad yellow medium hue hey everybody thanks for joining us i can't see i mean i can just see it popping up but i can't see who it is quinacridone magenta and thalo, a lot of times I use thalo blue green shade. This is just thalo blue. So that's what those are, yellow, magenta, thalo blue. I put, I put out some yellow, some blue, and I put a little pinch of black in it to make the green. 
Uh, the brown, I almost always make an orangish color and add black to it. And then if it's too yellow, I add magenta. If it's too ready, rust, rusty color, I add yellow to it. I'm probably going to need more yellow than that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I never have to clear my throat until I start videoing. Maybe it's because I start talking. Mm -hmm. Oh, the background, I paint, also painted the, like this is the simple sweeping sky before I put the clouds on it. I used a three-quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. Okay, I think that sets the table, M. Okay. Well. I'm only half on the stool. I'm going to get both cheeks, <laughs> both <laughs> cheeks on. Oh, and I'm caught again. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Oh, you're really caught here. Oh. <laughs> um, do you want my help or do you want to solve the problem? You're... Okay. <laughs> Hopefully there's not too much mic noise, but I, I was wrapped around my... My microphone cords are wrapped around the chair. Well, so tonight in the chat with us, hang on, I need to, I like when I do my, um, uh, I wiggled my art table. My, 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 the other side of it because I can read it better on dark. Okay, uh, we have Suzanne, Bonita, Cindy, Lucinda, Gravy, Chase. I see Chase <laughs> says hi, Emily. Yeah, and I think that's it so far. Oh, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I forgot to look to see um, the last Pooh Bear Live we did, if it was fairly well, like, you know, enough like views on it and people liked it kind of thing. I'm enjoying it. I'm just using a kneaded eraser to lighten up some of my black chalk pastel. How do you know when you need a new kneaded eraser? I don't know. They get sticky and stinky. And they get stiff, I, at least. Yeah, well, sometimes you can knead them into softer. Do they just finally get just stiff and won't knead anymore? Is that? Yeah, I don't know. I usually toss mine when they start looking... Like this? Kind of gross? Yeah. <laughs> it was great to start with. I should see if I can find some silly putty, because that would work. Okay. I need to mix an orange. I just realized I haven't. Good thing I put more yellow. Okay. I feel like saying, how's everybody doing tonight? But we kind of went <laughs> through that a little bit. I'm just scooting my paper towel closer to me. So a little bit of magenta. Oh, that might go too. I always get worried, like, is that going to go too orange on me? Or two red. I want an orange. Oh, I think that's going to be pretty good. I wonder if I'm going to want a little more brown. We'll just figure it out as we go. And I think my whole palette's in. I'll try to remember to pick up the painting so it's closer. I haven't worked if you joined me for the last live where I went rogue and had control of the camera. <laughs> uh, we painted a zebra. Um, I haven't worked on the zebra yet. I've been doing little paintings and things. Okay, should we just take a number 12 flat brush from Royal and, it's a Royal and Langnickel Knight. That's three, three eighths. Emily's chuckling. Uh, just Chase asking Chase questions. Chase being Chase. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab some white and some orange because it'll cover the background better. Oh, Mr. Sun. Oh, yeah. Where's Mr. Sun? Um, It's pretty much coming from the top if we follow what I shaded. There we go. See in there? Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking. I lost my window. I was, <laughs> couldn't find it. You lost me? Yeah, I lost you. Yeah, that's covering better with some white in it. It's going to need another coat, maybe. This one should be pretty easy. I like that, too. It's nice to kind of mix up. Was that freckles? Oh, my stomach. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded like a cat it, chirp. Yeah, it growled. My stomach growled. She was eating before the live. Apparently not enough. <laughs> I'll have to eat dinner when I get home. 
Yeah, I'm going to paint some of the orange so you can see how transparent it is if you don't add the white. Mm, Bonita said, always use metrics in medicine. Yeah, I feel like that's... Oh, yeah. So it's more universal. <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. Because otherwise then it's just the U.S. using that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to continue with the white. Can you guys see how transparent? Because my mm -hmm. yellow is transparent and my quinacridone is transparent or semi-transparent. So then when you don't add the white, you don't get the opaque. We'll come back and darken it. We could add a pinch of brown. I don't know if that's even mm. going to make a difference. And Gravy says it's the absence of all light, not color. It would be all colors. Isn't all colors the black, though? And technically, I thought in, like, light. I think he might be right, yeah. I think he is right. But I thought white was the abs absence of all color when it comes to art. Well, it's actually, like, white, I think. Because you can't mix it. Whereas, like, technically, they, th they say, just like you, they say you can yeah. mix a black with all, if you mix all the colors. That, that's true. I don't disagree with you there, either. I'm going to have to take it to Google once I'm done scrolling. <laughs> she said Emily Sonic does make really odd noises. <laughs> he would know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll be I... just sitting like, I don't know, it'll be a quiet point. I don't, I don't, at some point it's quiet and then all of a sudden you just hear <laughs> it's like gurgling. <laughs> well, mine does too. Mine did right before, not right before, but before the live. It was talking. Boy, I was, it used to talk more. I think I start, well, I started eating before the lives. It used to talk more in the early days. Even when we were doing lives at noon. Because that's not doing much, but I just kind of want to cover my background. I'm just painting with the corner of my brush and dabbing. I might need to get out like my trusty number one round. What I like about this one, Emma, is it doesn't have a shirt. So we can... Oh, yeah. Because like, what doesn't have a shirt? He oh, sorry, Pooh Bear. Shirt. Yeah. Pooh Bear doesn't have a shirt. Um, because I painted it, the, the other one, the other Pooh Bear we painted, which is really cute. They're in the snow. And I put a green shirt on him because the red shirt is trademarked by Disney. There, now I can at least see. Oh, Gravy says, I thought you were talking about Mars Black with the absence of all color. Oh, no, 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 no. I was talking about the white. Because just... I think it, it is reversed in light, which is what Gravy said. Why well, stuck basically. up for Gravy? <laughs> yeah, you did, and you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I don't um, have to think as hard when you're here. Chase, Chase said, sometimes I think Emily is talking to me, and I look over, and she's listening to music, dot, dot, dot. The noise I had been hearing was her stomach sound, her stomach sounds, or, or her stomach, dot, 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 sounds like someone talking with, like, a <gasps> emoji. That's funny. He's throwing you under the bus. He is. You can, you can yeet him. <laughs> I can put him in timeout. You can put him in timeout. I'm going to grab a little brush and just grab a little white. I don't know if we're going to give him an underglow, but I am for the time being. Plus, then I won't lose where his stomach is. And then I'm going to grab a little... This is a eighth inch flat brush from Michael's. That's way too white, but we might like it. Just because I say that, you never know. Um, it's their artist... Oh, number four, Artist Loft. Just trying to cover the background. You could trace it on and then paint around it. Now my brush is really loaded. I'm going to wipe it off on a paper towel. Gravy Here. says, have you found kneading erasers eat plastic? Question mark. No. But I only really use it on, like I just did. Mm -hmm. I mean, the acrylic's plastic, I think. Mm -hmm. Some sort of polymer. 
I wonder how it would do. If you like set it on plastic, will it eat through? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Like acetone does. <laughs> Oh my god. Or, no, no, that's not what I'm thinking of. Um, I don't know if it eats through, it does kind of eat through plastic, but um, the like bake clay, if I, sometimes it like gooeys up things. If I like leave it sitting on it, it'll goo up huh. stuff. I'm just trying to get rid of my chalk pastel line. I'm having a hard time tonight. I have a more control with the little guy. It feels extra quiet tonight for some reason. Like, I don't know if it's because the air isn't running or, or the heat isn't running or something. But. Freckles is sleeping. Yeah, true. We haven't had a me. <laughs> is that how that goes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't really fully meow. It's just a, a me. An M E E E H H H. Are there three poo bears in total or four poo bears? I was going to do four. One a month. I might come back to it or we might see what else is. Um, I mean, it, I, I can't remember the year, but we could do, you know, artists that it, were painting way back when. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to keep that. I cleaned it out, but I'm just going to keep it. Mm. Gravy says, yes, I wrapped it around my pencil and it ate a hole in it. So I sat it in a That's... plastic container and it ate a hole in it. Toxic in all caps. Hmm. Weird. Was it a General's needed eraser? Yeah, I used to, when I would tote mine, like all my art supplies in college, I used to put it in like saran wrap, which, but I don't know if that's like well, the same one, plastic. Yeah, the one in the drawer, I don't think I have one here. The one in the drawer by where you're sitting, Em, is it comes in a plastic container to keep it in. Oh, yeah, it does come in a little plastic wrap. Well, yeah, a little. You're right. It comes in a plastic wrap, and then it has a plastic snap container. So I, that's just mm -hmm. weird to me. I'm not saying it's not true. It's just like, yeah. wow, that's crazy. Gravy got a radioactive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Switch brands. Although I saw in the news, I don't, of course, I don't know how accurate this was, but the Sim Simply Orange Juice, Simply brand, which is owned by Coca-Cola, they're talking about, like, they're supposed to be all natural, whatever, and there's, like, a, I don't know how many different chemicals in there. But I also, I wonder if there's just chemicals in everything, you know? And I don't know if that's something we really want to talk, we want to talk about art. I don't know what made me think of that. Oh, the eating away. <laughs> the eating away of the plastic. I've never had that, but I have at least two-year-old um, needed razors. I just bought like a six-pack on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Sitting in the other room, they haven't eaten through the cases yet. Or they're plastic wrapped. Hmm. It makes me want to go check them. Yeah. <laughs> you can't find them. They've eaten through the plastic, and then, yeah. they've, and then they've like synced through the, if they're in the credenza or whatever, they've synced through the credenza, and they're working their way through the floor. <laughs> well, I walked away. Yeah. On their own. So I'm putting a little bit of values. I'm really trying to just, as I said, cover. So one thing that happens when you do this, I had a tape, piece of tape to get a straight line. Um, and you still, no matter how thin the paint is, you get a little ridge. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try and throw some paint over it to smooth it out. Okay, that that makes me a little happier. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of paint on so I can paint. Paint Winnie. But it didn't take me long to go down to a smaller brush. Oh, um, so let's see. I have a couple lined up because I was, you know, waiting for you to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Jennifer says, uh, the background is gorgeous, really nice clouds. And I believe I might have, oh, thanks. I don't know if I said, but I think Susie, if I think I skipped and Susie said, uh, love the background on this painting as well. Thank you. 
earlier. I missed it. And then um, Susie also says, everything is comprised of chemicals, so we just try not to think about, think it, about it with, yeah. like, the tongue sticking out emoji. Yeah. Mm. It was interesting. It made the news. Like, I, I mean, yeah. they could throw so many companies probably under the bus. Mm -hmm. Well, I bought... Um, wait, what, what were you talking about? I just realized... Simply you... orange juice. I think it's, it oh. just says simply in cursive on the bottle. And... Yeah, well, I bought... Um, I was reading something online, and um, I've seen it before. Like, the there was, like, a call for dry shampoos that have benzene, I think, in it, and that can cause cancer. And it just, like, you just spray it, and then dry shampoo just hangs in the air. So you just probably breathe it in. And um, I thought mine was in the clear, and then I read, I saw, because, like, the ones they were really shouting out were, like, Dove and, like, I don't know, Bedhead like, and all that stuff. I feel like we stuff. shouldn't throw, I just, I already did, but we're throwing companies under the bus <laughs> that we don't know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and mine was, so I had to go find one that wasn't. Yeah, that is. So I was like, oh, just take care of us. Mm-hmm. Okay. But Bonita says, I put my kneaded eraser in a plastic medicine cup. A week later, it had separated layers of the medicine cup on the inside and was all crumpled up. Weird. Yes. Considering it to be toxic. <gasps> um, in the little drawer to your left, Em, mm -hmm. does it, I don't think the plastic thing has a brand on it. I think it's general. I'm a little digging. I'm looking. You got a lot of stuff in this There's drawer. There's a lot of stuff in that drawer. Let me just... It should be up front, but maybe underneath a few things. It's okay. I, I'm i thinking it doesn't have that. You have hand warmers in here. Yeah. Well, I have a couple of foot warmers because sometimes my feet get cold. <laughs> Hashtag old people or whatever. Oh my you know. God. You have hand... Yeah, in your desk you have hand warmers. That's so funny. It's either hot or cold in here. There's no in between. Oh, I'm staring right at it. Yeah, it's in a weird little plastic. It's but, but there's no. I was wondering what the brand was. Um, Fab. Oh, it's Faber. 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 Castle. Mm-hmm. There you go. Is it Fa Faber or Faber? I don't know. So maybe I don't know. If you have that brand, let me know. I have. I've got a bunch of these, and they're years old. Maybe it's a specific type it likes to chew on, too. Oh, I don't have my newest glasses on. I think it says made in Malaysia, but I can't If you it. Wait, hold it up to the camera, and I'll read for you. Okay, I did. Oh, okay. It'll pop up. Oh, something it's Germany. It's blurry, but I think it's, mm -hmm. yeah, made in M. We'll just say Faber. It could be Castell? Castle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it did. I was glad it did have a logo on it. I've had good luck with those, if that helps anybody. You could just use like a magic rub. Well, maybe not. It's kind of nice that that lifts up. Okay, let's do the honey pot. Should we just paint it brown and then maybe glaze it with some oranges and reds? Do a little glazing tonight. Oh, that needs some white too. Everything's going to need some white. The downside of it, of when you paint a background. Mm, Jennifer says, um... I dug out my old kneaded eraser um, from 1990. They were in a plastic tackle box, no problem with them. So you just need anything pre, <laughs> pre 2000s. I had a tackle box for when I was in college to carry my art supplies around. In. Yeah, it's got to be the brand or something. Well, and uh, Lucinda points out probably depends on what kind of. Oh geez plasticizer um some things made from plastic will melt together like polymer clay um the plasticizer will melt into some plastics interesting would that be like like two acrylic paintings if you put them face to face will stick together special well i think even when they're varnished but i'm using um Liquitex permanent varnish, which is probably just a mm -hmm. slightly different formulation, but still acrylic. Because mm -hmm. it likes to stick to, I'm trying to get people at, at one of the galleries to realize that you don't put bubble wrap straight onto an acrylic, even a varnished acrylic painting or an oil painting, because mm -hmm. you'll get bubble wrap marks. But they don't. I get they don't want to use both tissue and bubble wrap because it costs the gallery, but 
I'm like, well, just use tissue then. Because <laughs> I don't want to, I mean, I, you know, if once it gets those bubble wrap marks in there, I have to repaint the painting. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just grab a little black and white just to, it's bugging me that I can't go as dark as I want to go to cover, but I need the white to cover. That makes me a smidgy happier. Mm. And Linda says, yeah, kind of like oil dissolves adhesive. It's got to be something, two things talking to each other that one's they don't a, like each other. One's a solvent. That's one thing I like about the chat or and the YouTube comments and the Facebook group is I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. I never heard of that. <laughs> I learn stuff all the time. Is that right? I need to look at my reference. Oh, I could bring that. Well, I don't know if we need straightening or just leave it alone. Kind of went into his hand a little bit there. I wrote the word honey, but, um, or N-N-Y, I'm going to paint over it. I didn't think about that. Oh, the, the, I didn't say the, um, sky is just phthalo blue and white. I didn't mix anything else into those colors. I didn't mm -hmm. say that when I set the table. Um, Linda asks, so tissue paper works to separate, um, to separate the painting? If it doesn't ha if it has a non-slick side, put the non-slick side. There, sometimes tissue paper ha ha paper has a shiny side. That'll stick. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Honestly, brown paper is probably the best bet. <laughs> yeah, white paper, brown paper. Yeah. Anything like those big, big sheets. Anything slick has a potential. It will stick. Did you hear my foot pop in? Yeah, I did. But I was nice enough to not point it out. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you guys, come over here and help me. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Oops, I have a drip, drip of water on my brush there. So that was a little wet on wet blending. I just didn't want the same color as the sky, so I put a little magenta in my blue. Where am I getting water from? I can feel it. <laughs> hmm. You drip? I don't know. I must have. Must have. Must have, must have. Oh, I assume I'm in frame. I can... So I'm sort yeah, you've of... you've been in frame. Yeah, okay. I'm just sort of thinking values, but not too overly concerned at this point. I don't know how many times have I said that like fifty times. It's my th that's the thoughts that's running through my head. Is that? Mm -hmm. That's one thing nice about the chalk pastels. It's uh, dissolving right into the. Speaking of things that dissolve, <laughs> it's dissolving right into the paint. Pooh Bear looks a little funny. She's oh, I thought you were talking about because. Uh, so we call freckle, or I, I oh I call freckles Pooh Bear. Yeah. So everyone, so you you also call her Pooh Bear. Sometimes. So when you said that, I turned around. I'm like, she looks normal. <laughs> well, he's floating. He doesn't have much. Oh, that's something maybe we could do. Why yeah, we... he looks a little ghosty. He's a little ghosty. He's a little floaty. He's a little ghostly boy. We could put lots of Y's on all those words. Mm-hmm. You know what I might like better after I did that? The house is quiet. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. I was thinking the other day, I haven't been to a movie theater. I don't know how long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only go to the ones that Chase likes to go to. We go together for those, but otherwise I'm just like, man, I'll wait till I can watch it on my own couch. <laughs> you like that. I kind of like going to the, well, except for sometimes it's so loud. I, I've never liked, even as yeah. a young person, I don't, 
I didn't go to very many concerts because I don't like how loud it is. Mm-hmm. You know, and it seems kind of dumb to wear earplugs to a concert. Maybe not. Maybe everybody does it, and I just assume they do. Some don't. people, yeah, well, some people have to. Like, I think oh, technically if you have, um, well, yeah, if it hurts, you probably should. But also, like, if you already are, like, hearing impaired or you have, like, one bad ear, you're, they suggest you do just because then you don't want to further damage oh. the hearing you have or something. After I did that, I just, I looked at this, I decided I wanted the blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I like the big screen and, you know, going out to see the movie, that kind of thing. But I don't even know if there's anything good in the theaters. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, and I haven't seen... Just getting a little water. <clears throat> Excuse me, go ahead. I think there's just, like, a... Well, one, there was a pandemic, but, like, there's a stretch of, like, movies where I'm like, I haven't seen anything in theaters that I'm like... Dang, I'm excited! I saw that at the theater, so I'd just rather watch oh, it. Oh yeah, maybe there's nothing on the on the from the comfort of my home. And if it's not that great, I didn't spend fifteen dollars on a ticket. She's sounding old and cranky. And I can I can <laughs> yeah, that is kind of old and cranky. And if like I don't know if it's not that good, we maybe I rented it at worst, you know. And also, you can't like you're just stuck in the theater. Like you can't pause it. Oh, you you're, can't. you're, yeah, see, I don't mind all, any of that. Yeah. No, Chase, the, Chase is one of, like, you go to the theater for the vibe. Yeah. And that's the point. See, Chase and I have so much more in common than you and Chase. <laughs> mm, um, let's see here. I'm a little behind on chat. Oh, yeah. I was I'm chatty. Uh, Leanne says, oh, cute, his head is in the pot. Yeah, I, but I like, this might hey, be. Hey, Leanne. This one or the next one might be my favorite. I like this one just because there's no red shirts for people that I'll paint green or whatever color. Mm -hmm. like, nobody's gotten upset because I, I explained yeah. it. But. Mm -hmm. He has no shirt on. Uh, Cindy says, I use parchment paper between my paintings when storing them. Hmm, that's smart. Um, yeah, I'd be worried. I, the non, is there a non-slick side? I would use that side um, against the painting. Parchment isn't like wax paper. That's what I use for when I... Oh. Maybe mine isn't really parchment paper. True. And I think there's... Do people... Am I wrong in thinking that there's... People call parchment paper, but also call something else parchment paper? Uh, Maybe not. Row, row. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I did Scooby-Doo. Row, row. <laughs> I don't know if that helps totally. We're getting there though. Mm, Gravy says, um, tinnitus is extremely important to wear hearing protection, which I think I actually have. If I sit in a silent room, I just hear like the constant ring. Oh. I mean, if there's like any form of background noise, I don't hear it. But like, even when I was young, like I remember I would go wait in the car for you. So then you're just sitting in dead silence in the garage and there's no sounds and my ears are just ring. I wonder if that's all the wax. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Are you saying I have waxy ears? Uh, from the get-go. <laughs> the grumble. Uh, from the get-go. That's a little better. I need to I get, like, focused. Okay, I know that we've gone over my normal um, commercial-type time, but I want to... Oh, yeah, I wasn't even looking at the clock. I, I was want, reading chat. Yeah, I want to, um, that's going to be later tonight. I'm going to get this painted and it can dry a little bit before I pull out the Posca pens. Mm-hmm. So. Mm. Jennifer says, I use a newsprint that comes in pads oh, to draw yeah. on and put in between drawings totally. and paintings. Small, small. I, yeah, I used to do it with my sketchbooks. I used to, totally. um, like my school sketchbooks. I'd always buy an extra pad of newsprint and stick it in between so it wouldn't transfer if I ever tore it out for something. Yep. I'm going to see what that does. I grabbed just a little straight. Ooh, that scares me. Straight up quinacridone. <laughs> That's a little more red than I wanted. The orange wasn't looking very orange. Although this looks kind of yellow the way I drew it or the way I colored it in. 
Oop, I said I was going to hold it up. And I forgot. I do kind of want it. So this is where transparent colors can drive you crazy. It takes a lot of layers. Mm -hmm. In general, I like it because I can sneak up on the values. I'm just going to blend out my line a little bit there, maybe, hopefully. Oops, it's lifting up. Uh, Gravy says that's it in, in reference to what I was saying about tinnitus. I used to love early mornings during winter, but uh, yes, now the ring is almost unbearable. Ugh. I, oh. If there's just like any, like the hum of the computer, I can't hear it. It's just like if I'm sitting in what did like do dead to you? silence. I don't know. But I've, I just remember it always as a kid, so I don't know. I wonder if you can just have it. Probably. Because I do know it's like technically you can get tinnitus from like damaging your hearing. But I didn't really, you know, I didn't go to a concert until I was in like 13, so it wasn't that. <laughs> I don't remember you doing headphones a lot. Did you? No. No, because, I mean, I even then, like, what, I probably got a, my little iPod shuffle when I was, like, 12, 10. Oh, well, yeah. You know? And I remember just, like, any time I would go and wait in the car for you, I'd hear it. But, yeah, that's why I don't, like, I, I do not sleep. Also, just because little sounds keep me up. But, like, I sleep with, we sleep with a fan on. Like a box fan because I like the white noise. So I can't hear it. <laughs> hmm. Cindy says, the parchment paper I use is nonstick, used for baking. Works great. Well, I'm glad it works. Mm -hmm. I just, just remember the days when I put two paintings together face to face because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. They did not come apart. Of course, you can, you know, they will come apart. I don't know how long. I know, I've not tested this. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, it had been like a year. I don't know how long it took for them to fuse together. Although it makes me, like sometimes the, the gallery downtown puts my paintings on a glass shelf some, quite often. Mm -hmm. It sticks to the glass shelf. Yeah. Just like, uh Leanne says, if, I, if you have tinnitus, you need magnesium. Which, speaking oh. of, I was thinking about adding magnesium to the supplements I take because... Um, people, they're, or they, they don't know, but the theory around eczema is you're producing a lot of cortisol and... It's so, Emily Medical Night. <laughs> yeah, this is Emily Medical Night. Yeah, sorry. Honey. I also have eczema. <laughs> she's, she's talking seriously and I interrupt her with a, um, a jab. No, that's fine. Um, well, you, and you're the one that brought up my waxy ears. <laughs> oh, am I? <laughs> well, yeah, you remember? You oh, yeah, but I mean, ears. you were talking about tonight. Was, yeah, so. um, but, uh... I saw something online that was like magnesium is good for people that produce a lot of cortisol. And it's not like they officially know that there's a link between eczema and cortisol, but it's a good idea. So I was already thinking about adding magnesium. Go slow with it because it yeah. might upset your stomach. Yeah. I should probably just... Milk um. of magnesia? Have you heard of that? Hun? Yeah. Yeah, so it makes you... Feel better? Oh. <laughs> oh, she goes, oh. Okay. Yeah. I see, I see. Bon I, Bonita's our nurse, she might know too. <laughs> nurse and zoologist. She has lots of titles. Let's see, how does that look? Oh, it doesn't really tell us how that looks, so we'll just kind of talk about it. Whoop. Magnesium citrate. Citrate? Citrate? The fr yeah, citrate. citrate. Um, Pretty that's sure. That's what Leanne says. Hmm. Super helpful. Start with 500 milligrams. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Leanne is here. <laughs> I might have some downstairs if you want to just take it, hun. 
Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about, I saw, I, what's funny is I literally saw it like two nights ago or something, and I was like, ah, that's kind of funny. And I Googled it. I didn't really look into it that much, but then I was, I'll just probably grab some next time we're at the grocery store. And I'm going to start with 500 milligrams. Is that working? I'm like right on top of it. I'm gonna take a drink. I almost went darker there, but that's also the the pot. Oh, that's looking all right. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I bet that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> Hear the whole thing. I'll have to take the lid off. Have the lid on, so if I dump it, he's less ghostly. He's less. Yeah, he's getting better. Mm hmm. He's literally just kind of like an egg. He is kind of, it's a, it'd be really simple just to draw it. Yeah, he's very egg shape. Um, but you can see that I'm not the fastest painter on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I don't. If we're going to break him into shapes, he is an egg and then a couple of L's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Leanne says, oh, I worked in a health food store. <laughs> Close enough. Okay, let's work on the pot. I wanna, if we have time, I wanna make, put a little bee, bumblebees, just little mm -hmm. hints of them. Oh, that'd be cute. Daisies, I've got daisies on the, I, the, the daisies weren't in the book. Those are my daisies. Um, and I don't, I think he might be in his home or else he's up against like the big tree in the 100 acre wood. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't know what all this scribbling the is. Okay. So I'm like, you know, we'll see what happens with all the comments, I'll see. If people, how many people tell me, hey, that's not right. Because <laughs> I put, I thought, oh, I want to put him outside in the sun. Yeah, and I like your clouds. Someone already said that in the chat, but I like your clouds. Yeah. I did it the same way as I did in that cloud video, which is linked in this video's description. And that way you can, you know, see as much or as little of it as you want. I use all kinds of brushes. I use a palette knife. I use a makeup brush. I still, I'm still getting comments. People are running out to buy makeup brushes to paint class. <laughs> Some of the makeup brushes can be expensive. Yeah, don't be, you can usually get, well, I guess I don't know what kind you got, but. Cheap. Yeah, I feel like Elf and the, even the tech, what is it? It's like techniques or something like that. Even those ones are sometimes kind of pricey. But yeah, hopefully they're not running out to like a Sephora or an Ulta and buying like. Makeup brushes. Uh, it cosmetics or like a, I don't know who else does makeup brushes. And like getting expensive ones. Well, I've had just as many uh, males as females say that they were going to do that. I'm like, you know, it works. I was pleasantly surprised. I hadn't done it before, except when I did that video, I'm like, ah, let's just try stuff. <laughs> oh, you know what I might have wanted to do? I'm glazing already. I might have wanted to add some um, lines to the honey pot, but honey pot. The honey pot. But maybe I could do it in ink, too. Hmm. So you could still see my background coming through a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, Gravy says, The curious name of Winnie the Pooh came from Christopher Robin from a combination of names of a real bear and pet swan. During, 19, during the 1920s, there was a black bear named Winnie in the London Zoo who had been the mascot for the Winnipeg Oh, geez. <laughs> regime of the Canadian Army. I don't know why that... that regiment, probably. Regiment of, regiment of the Canadian Army. Maybe. I can't see it. But... I don't know what he types, so... R-E-G-I-M-E-N-T. And I didn't pre-read it, so then I'm like... Ugh. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Does that bug you when I help? No. Okay. It might bug me. <laughs> Ruth says, I'm going to try and paint this darling picture. It will be fun. I know. Well, and it's kind of, so many things are decided for you, too, which is really fun. Mm-hmm. And it's simple. I just think it'd be super cute um, to, if you did all four and then, like, lined them up in a kid's room or something. Oh, that would be cute. I, I did upload load them to my um, print 
gallery. I don't know what to call that. Print store. Print store. Well, and there really isn't much. Um, I was going to say perspective. The lines. Here, I'll just show you. He just drew the lines pretty much straight. He didn't even try to curve them around the pot. Hmm. Very scribbly, which isn't bad. Mm -hmm. But I think that can make it a little easier too. Well, I think this would be a fun one to see in like uh, watercolor or I, I mean, you just, totally. you just filled your like scribble filters in with colored pencil, but it would be fun to see this guy in. Cause I could see where- Chalk pastel would be fun. Oh, that'd be fun. It'd be kind of, I don't know, since it's already a cartoon in my brain, I feel like it would be easier to translate it into something else as opposed to like a rooster you painted and then changing it to something else. You know? I don't know if that makes sense. Total sense. I'm just watching my edge with my big brush. So the reason I'm lightening is just, in the, and then going back and making it darker is I'm just trying to cover the background. I don't like, I kind of colored outside the lines. Let's see, what did I do? I lost my, is it right here where I lost it? Yep. Okay. Still kind of lost it, but I can see it better. I don't like the dip I've got going on the pot right here. I'm gonna grab a little white so it covers. I think I might have traced it a little differently, but with his um, scribbly ink lines, I think I missed it. I'm just going to grab a little black. Hmm. See if that looks any better. Oh, that's dark. Okay, did you just hear that, like an ankle pop in? I thought that was out in like the hall, like house pop. Yeah. You're just we can start telling ghost stories. Breaking down. <laughs> It's not Halloween, though. No. Yeah. They, I like that better. I, even though it's dark, I like it. Let's do that here, too. Oops. Then I can't. I'm just going to grab a clean brush. Do a little cleaning up. I can make anything take hours when I paint it. That's a talent. Well, I just, you know, I just keep doing it till I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not like trying to defend myself. I'm just like, oh. You're putsy. I, I don't know if we talked about it on live. I think I mentioned it after a live too. I'm like, but you're putsy in all aspects. Oh, yeah. You know? It's just me. You give, your, you give yourself enough time. Like if you're going to go somewhere, you plan ahead so you can putz. Yep. So... I think it's I got up at 7 a.m. this you. morning for a 10:30 thing. <laughs> Dang it! I looked at my I looked at I got a notification. I looked at my watch, so I held it up to my face, and then it I thought I was talking to it. <laughs> Is it Siri? Yeah. So like a guy. It's my well, it's my Miri. I changed it. There's something about um. I mean, like I changed it years and years and years ago. There's something about the girl Siri and how they used to kind of direct you when you would drive that like. It stressed me out, and I realized you could change it to a guy's voice, and I felt like it was easier to understand. Oh. So mine's been Miri ever since. Oh, I forgot about that. It's the man Siri. Okay, I've got a lot of water, so I'm just gonna leave that alone for a bit. I feel like my um, honey pot label is weird. Well, that's where um, it starts. Let's um, I'm just gonna grab. He. Go ahead. Uh, I was thinking he looks like bubbly, if that makes sense. I don't know what you mean. Like, are you talking about Pooh Bear or the, the, the honey label? pot label? Like, it looks like it's. Oh, it's just it's weird. Yeah, I think I um. It goes down. To that part of the hand, but I think I went in or something, or I drew it funny. I think we'll um. I unloaded my brush on the paper towel. A oh, bit there. we didn't take a break, did we? I know, because oh, okay. I want to paint this. Oh, okay, okay. 
Um, and then it can dry, and then I can do the Pasca pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yell at you on the live. I feel so yelled at. <laughs> okay, it's better. Okay, he, Pooh Bear's pretty close to having enough color in him. Mm -hmm. He's sweet. Now I can put a little brown in here, which, whoop. That was a lot of brown. Once you get a couple layers on, then you don't need quite be so heavy handed. There. Do we kind of like, even though the sun's coming from the top, do we kind of like give them a side glow? Oh shoot, my brush is dirty. to this one. I don't know if I picked it up in the blue or I uh, had a dirty brush. I think I picked some blue up because I'm... So I keep kind of putting this back in. Mm. Was that you again? No, that was the window popping. Okay. That green was a little wet in my thumb. It's like, do I have plastic on my thumb? My thumb is stuck to the... <laughs> well, there we go. That's kind of fun. I might paint over it with some orange and yellow, but that's kind of fun. Give him some hairs. Mm -hmm. It's fuzzy. Well, fuzzy wuzzy. Fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. How was that looking? So what's, what's throwing me a little bit is I'm going to use black ink, which is so I don't have to be that detailed with him. He's, he has good shape. I kind of like that highlight, even though I didn't mm -hmm. do that. I like his highlight. So just kind of yellow it up. And I like his fuzzy wuzzy. I don't know if I even need to paint over his fuzzy wuzzy. I could just leave it light. Oh, darn. Yeah, there, it's blue right there. <laughs> Let's grab that and get rid of it. Diane says, good evening from Thornhill, Ontario. Got four inches of snow and more to come. So thus my life drawing group got canceled. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. Mm -hmm. The snow has been, we've had just very little snow this year. It goes north of us or south of us. Or it scoots to the, kind of just passes us and then starts dumping to the east, you know. Just like what the heck? we need the moisture. Mm -hmm. I don't mind not shoveling, but yeah, it's got to be like I don't know. It's gonna do it's, that again Saturday. It's gotta be something like why? Like literally, just exactly what you said. I feel like just surrounding us, it always dumps, but it never dumps actually really like in most of the like Omaha area. Not in the last I don't know how many years. Is that? Is there science behind that? Oh, well, yeah. I'm or, sure. like, why does it always skip over us? Like, literally, the, would that be the highway? Like, just... Well, the interstate. Interstate, just to the west of us? Oh, I thought you meant south. South? Would that be south? Are you talking about 80? I'm thinking, like, further, because we're on, like, the, if you stare at it, east side of Nebraska. Oh. Like, if you head west... West. Right? Correct? <laughs> no, you, you've gone every direction but north, so I don't know. What you're well, about. you you said the south. So well, I thought you were talking about 80. If you're staring at a map, and then mm -hmm. if you head west from here. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be on Interstate 80 okay. if you're going fast. Like, they'll close it, like, just past Omaha. Or, like, just past probably Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They closed it in New but, York. They, like, they, they we, closed it in Gravy's territory. We get nothing. I mean, we get stuff, but, like, we get, like, nothing in comparison. Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah, 80 West. <laughs> okay. Cool. Suzanne said he's so cute with a heart. Thanks. Yeah, stop emoji. trying to figure out where you are. Yeah. I'm just putting some orange on to kind of orange him up a little bit. I'm being fussy. I kind of lost his, do we, oh, I'll put the black line on there. Eh, I'm going to anyway. I was going to say, I kind of lost his elbow. Yeah, you did. But, um, we're going to put... 
the Posca pen on it. Whoops, and I need to stop right there. I'm gonna grab a little green. I've got a weird thing right here. Oops, sorry, that probably wasn't in frame. There, that's a lot better. Okay, I think he's good. I think the honey pot, pot's pretty good. I kind of want to redden it up. Oop. Grab some of my dirty yellow. Instead of using straight up quinacridone, of course there's some white in there, so now it's not going to glaze as much. Let's see if I can get away with it. What time is it? Oh my gosh, I painted it on this for an hour. This is why I painted the background. There, I like it. A little bit richer. Okay, let's um get some grasses in there. What do I want to do? Maybe some maybe a little white so it sticks out. Mm, Gravy says I live near Carney. And there's always a line where there was rarely any moisture. I always assumed it had to do with the warm interstate pavement and the cool Platte River, question mark? I was wondering if it, I didn't know if it would be stupid to think, but I always thought it's just kind of like, we just get so much cement here. Oh, yeah. Like all the, the pavement, all the cement. I think there's something to that. But I don't know. You know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Even like a few years ago, and maybe that's just because there's not tall buildings and whatever, but like if you lived on more of like the edges of Omaha, like maybe the small townish areas that like aren't annexed by the city yet or whatever, it's I feel dark. like they would always get storms way worse than like Midtown Omaha. It like dies by the time it gets to Midtown. I'm not, I don't know. Like it'd be <laughs> worse than Elkhorn or Bennington and... yeah. And it dies by the time In the it gets summer, to... for sure. I don't know about winter. Yeah. There. I think I need just a little bit of water. It's not quite flowing the way I want. I'm just trying to put in some... Oop, that's not going to show. I want my dark back, and I kind of got rid of it. <laughs> what? You. You want your dark back right after you get rid of it? Mm, yeah, I do that a lot. Or like the chubby grasses. Yeah, I'm just kind of... How are we looking? Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> it's so cute. Oops, sorry. I hit my phone, guys. You can bring it all the way up. I don't know if I want to. Well, maybe I do kind of want to if I have daisies up over here. I'm kind of just whacking at it <laughs> because I'm, try are, I'm, it. <laughs> I'm trying to um, get random and not so detailed. I tend to go detail and go, oh, don't do that. Okay, I think I'm going to let it dry. Do a commercial and we'll get out the ink pen and whoop, whoop. Um, paint in some flowers. And How does that look? I like it. I think it'll look cute with the Posca. Yeah, it'll look a little bit better. I'm going to... I always say I'm gonna, and then I, I looked at the chat. Well, that's not any better. But I don't really want to go darker. I was thinking. It's probably okay the way it was. Gravy says, take care, everyone. Gotta get going. Happy art hugs. Happy, happy, happy art hugs. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Happy art hugs. Oops. You could just drop all the, you could drop the H's, so it'd be Appy Art Uggs. Oh yeah, 
we could. Okay. The clouds are going to be everybody's favorite. I like the grass. Do you? Okay. Is it looking yeah. just kind of weedy, but not mm -hmm. too? I feel like it's too detailed, but I think it's Hasn't okay. been mowed in a while, but still cute, you know? Well, he's in the 100-acre wood. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like he's in the 100-acre field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So just a quick couple comments. Um... We have a merch store that shows up underneath the videos. It doesn't underneath the lives. Interesting. I'm just sure. But now watch me be wrong if Emily goes check. I don't see it on my end. So. And it just has like, um, well, this is going to turn into more commercial. It has the sun sticker. It has a mug like this. It has the apron I have on. It has a few fun things like great big happy. Uh, it has art, uh, the art hug guy. Oh, I don't have my art hug guy. Um, I bet he's over by my oh. on my other. I'll art get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. Um. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that starting tomorrow, Thursday, through Monday, January thirtieth. This is the art hug guy. Um, it's twenty percent off everything. Oh. So I thought that was kind of fun. Ooh. That would cover shipping or just depending on you know. Mm -hmm. No pressure. Just if you were thinking about a T-shirt, it's twenty percent off, or something. And then I wanted to say thank you to Ruthie A for sending money. To support the channel, really appreciate it. It was fun to chat with you. Great big happy art hugs. And then this Friday, oh, I guess I don't need the sticker. Sticker, I need the, the painting. Mm -hmm. This Friday, January 27th, 2023, in case you're watching this in the future, Photobomb is posting, which is a really fun painting. Give you a little heads up that that's coming. And then I don't know when this one, as long as I'm doing commercials, I'm going to do one more. Make sure my fingers are dry. I don't know when this one's posting, but I did it. Everything, I, but the simple background, because um, I did the background in two steps. But I did it all in real time. It's almost a two-hour video, which I paint slow. <laughs> but it's real pretty pansy. Okay. Thanks, guys, for letting me. Plus, it gives my, hopefully... I probably should have had, you know what I should have had you do is hair dry it while I was talking. Oh, do you want me to? Yeah. Um, well, uh, Diane in the chat asks, what is Photobomb about? So you could show Photobomb again and then. What is Photobomb about? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'll try and figure out what she means. The hair dryer's in the. I know, I have to get rid of my mic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I assume, what is a Photobomb? Oh, what is a Photobomb? I don't know. That's what I was going to say. Okay, I'm going to grab it again. I'm just making sure my fingers are clean. So... So it's, it's, um, there's a reference photo that I'll link in the video's description when this posts. Maybe if I set it down, it almost fits. I've got it in an inexpensive shadow box from Michael's. Isn't that fun? Just take the glass out. Um, I'm calling it Photobomb because it's like this hen decided to come by and get in the photo, the picture, while this rooster's posing. So I, I, we talked about it a little bit a while ago. I was thinking about drive-by, but that just seemed dark. It's like, but I just, so I named it Photobomb because the hen's going through the background. And then I just saved little bits um, of white and almost white and just little areas to kind of get more drama going. So hopefully that answers your question. I'll look at the chat here. I should have been more efficient with the hair dryer and Emily. Oh, then Diane says, what is it you're doing on Friday? So that's that's the photo bomb is the two chicken paintings, or two chicken paintings, and it posts this Friday. It's just a, it's a video on YouTube that posts this Friday. Hey, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. I wasn't thinking. That's I'm fine. a little bit out of, not practice, but I just, we don't normally do that. Yeah. I need to order another, I'm beating up Mr. Sunshine. Okay, let's um, let's see what we like with some Posca pens and see how far we get. I'm gonna knock paint over. I guess I don't have to do that. Maybe I'll just uh, set a paint tube on top of it. And help keep it. Mm -hmm. So seven mil seven millimeter Posca pens. I'm just gonna use a black. 
Susie said, love the rooster painting and the pansy painting. Yeah, that one petal, I was like, ooh, when you sent me a picture. That's so funny because that's the petal that I struggled the most with. <laughs> I mean, that's good though, because that really helps me like relax about it. Mm -hmm. So all I did was scribble on my note about the roost, the chicken painting to make sure my pen's going. Leanne says, can't wait for the rooster painting. Um, and Diane asks, what time on Friday? And the videos post at 10 a.m. Yeah, and then Central, it's... Central time, 10 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and then it stays up forever. Mm-hmm. So. Like, no rush. Cute. I really like it a lot. <laughs> Isn't the black fun? And I think the black might be a little bit easier on top of it because after I get some paint on there, mm -hmm. oh, you got it dry, but it just isn't cured. Plus, I have a little paint on my thumb, so then the, the two paints were sticking together already. Um, it's a little smoother because I don't have quite as much canvas texture. And I'm going to probably, I'm going to do it a little differently than him just because I have different handwriting than... Mr. Shepard, and my, I'm looking at my, um, my reference was sideways on my art mm -hmm. table. It's like, that's not the most helpful thing. <laughs> uh, Trish says, Trish says, I may have to try the rooster painting. Love it. Yeah, I love the colors on that one. Yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty. I went muted. I can't remember. I'd have to go look at the video. Mm -hmm. It might actually might be similar how I'm doing this next rooster painting, which is be funny because I didn't really put it together. <laughs> but I think I'm doing it. And uh, Jennifer says, the pansy painting looks right out of the Renaissance era. It does. It looks like oh, a very moody pansy. I yeah. like it. It does. I hadn't thought about that. You can hear it catching, maybe. Mm -hmm. I know Emily can. I don't know if you can. I'm trying to go light so that it doesn't catch. Yeah, let's do the label. Of course, it'd be better to pull rather than push. I just pushed there. At least for me, I have a lighter touch. Oh, and I just... So Posca pen takes about five minutes to dry. I might be able to take a damp brush and clean that up just a smidge. Actually, it would be cute as you go off, like, like an... Uh, um, cartoon and a newspa old newspaper mm -hmm. and you have like double register but you could also have like where the lines don't totally go over the paint oh yeah that'd had, be cute yeah i hadn't thought of that but you could i don't know that i need i'll kind of follow his but i'm just not as scribbly as he is mm-hmm but yeah, I mean, you don't have to worry about your values so much if you do something like this. Because you get a really strong edge. Mm-hmm. Cute. Should we write, okay, N, N, Y. I'm going to do it back. Well, I'm going to do the N. And the Y. And then center the N, which I didn't totally do, but that's pretty close. Little trick there. Make the middle one fit. Mm hmm Okay, let's put in let's put in a daisy. I want a daisy. Would they're technically like where his belly and that other foot is, would it is it supposed to be attached? What do you mean? Like uh the foot that's kind of hidden by his it's pro well if you're staring, I guess it's the Here. foot on the right. I'll just flash this. I was gonna flash it behind you, but you can look at the screen in a second and see. Did I miss something? Yeah, the, I guess, I don't know. His is so scribbly, I can't tell, but it just looks like his foot is open to his belly on the, the foot that's on the right. Is open to his belly. Yeah. Oh, I know what you mean here. You'll have to wait a sec. Does that help? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Linda says that's an excellent tip. Here, you know what I could do? Oh, maybe this would help too. 
just kind of darken it. Oh, cute. Was that a little bit better? Cute. Yeah, and it's kind of scribbly like his. Organized scribbly. <laughs> I could do more scribbly too. But I want to get to the flowers. Mm hmm. Cute. Can you tell I'm relaxing? Yeah. <laughs> that, well, I think it'll be okay. Oh, here, you know what I could do? Let's see, black face. We'll just do yellow body, black behind. I'm worried it's wet, but I don't want to turn. <laughs> uh, let's let's um. Let's leave one bee and see if I can get it done because I've got like 17 minutes. That's cute, doesn't that? Ch oh, here mm -hmm. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait for that because I'm not gonna paint in here anymore. Linda says really cute. I think it's so can, cute. Can you see how it's splattered? But I don't really mind. On. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like it without quite so many scribbles. Just, yeah, I like it cleaner, but I like the touch of them. And really, I could have lightened up this. The label, I forgot I was going to do that, but I don't know that I mind it. Mm -mm. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to take Bonita's book that I write my notes in. <laughs> Isn't that cute, you guys? It has freckles backside. My cat. Very versatile. <laughs> it's a fan. It's um, a book. <laughs> well, and I'll, I'll say one thing about this cloud. Is I, I wasn't doing what I wanted it to do, and you can tell I smeared it. And I was just, just kind of fussing, and now today, and then today I like it. Mm -hmm. But it's just funny. It's just sometimes it's hard to like your own stuff, at least for me. But I like, you know, if I haven't looked at it in a while, I'm like, oh, I kind of like that. I really want to get back to the zebra painting because I haven't. I mean, I'm really liking it just because I haven't worked on it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take a little yellow. Susie says, love it. And warm up his honey pot a little bit. Mm -hmm. well, that's, this is where I really like the semi-transparent color. Just do a little glazing. A little glazing. I have been wanting to, I keep trying to use this quinacridone and I get away from it. Okay, are you dry Posca pens? I don't know if they're going to be dry. Let's do a B. Stopped myself before I mess it up. Okay, I'm going to take a little yellow and white and a number one round from Princeton to cover the blue. And then you can come back with some more yellow. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden, like, oh, add the black, and now I really like it. Mm-hmm. I was a little frustrated. <laughs> and really, we don't have to... Like, I was painting too painterly. We can just get a little crazy lazy, and if I cover up the black, it's okay. I'll just make it a little bit more interesting. In fact, let's kind of do that occasionally. It's getting crazy. Getting crazy in here. <laughs> oh, look at the little dots are fun. And then those black lines really push the grass I didn't like. The black lines push the grass back. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, magic. And I even know these things, but it just sometimes you kind of have to, or I kind of have to talk myself through it. It's going to be okay. Keep going. I don't know, probably a lot of you don't have that problem. It's just me. Oh, I was going to paint it like I'm painting petals, but I don't really need to, 
to worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to mix a little beigey, maybe a little darker. Oh, maybe a little darker. I'm trying to be a little messier than is in my nature. Um, not so, my palette, my messy palette's normal. And I'm mixing with a brush and then I get it so loaded just to make it sort of a little more whimsical. And you can come back and put more Posca pen on it if you wanted. So our sun's coming from up there, but I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I'm gonna paint that one. Beige. It's cute. Just cleaning out my little eighth inch flat brush. The bee is cute. I've seen little bees on some of the illustrations. I'm trying to decide. Well, I'll put one. And it's, the white's going to dry darker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe I'm lighten that one up a little. Am I overthinking these petals and I need to lighten a couple more up? No. I like that strong white one right there. Suzanne says, put more bees, please. More bees. <laughs> I've got, I did four bee ornaments, so there's that video's coming up. I don't remember when. So there's new bees for the new year. All right, I will do more bees. More bees, please. The bees knees. The bees knees. <laughs> my grandmother used to say that. Mom's, my mom's mom. I don't know if I have to dip every time. Let's see if I can get away with. Oop. Oh, the center's on the top. I'm like, where's the center? I might want to lighten up some. So this says, "Yeah, for bees." <clears throat> and I keep paying the more bees. Stop it! What? How much time I got? I got ten minutes. Everyone start a chant: bees, bees, bees. <laughs> it's just me though. <laughs> I'll put just a little white in his wings. Let's see where I want to go here. Maybe here. Pretty thin white. I think I might like them a little bit better. We might have a little more punch. I might need a little more white again. I'm gonna let them dry. More bees. So normally I would dry this with a hair dryer. Um, is this the Posca pen? I have two of them. Yep, that are black. Shake it with the cap on. Sometimes they splatter. Oh, and I was going to lighten up the, so if we, I, I like to do, like I have five flowers, so like I'll do one bee or three bees, you can have two, it's not that big a deal, but even when I say that, then I, then I don't, um, I'm just trying to decide where to put one, could have one here, or we could have three up in the clouds, I think we're going to put one here. So I'm just trying to think sort of like a C and then a point, which I didn't totally get there, but that's okay. I was trying to make them a little smaller. Did I manage? Or might I got away with it? I need to turn this, but then I don't think I can do it upside down. Let's see. Okay, brain. Maybe if these are... Normally I have things looking at the subject, which isn't a big deal in this design. You don't need to worry about that too much. Maybe we'll just have one kind of coming into the picture. We could put 
little antennas on it. I hope I hope hopefully I'm holding it where you can see it. Yeah. Okay, those are very simple little cartoony bees. Oh, I think I like that. I agree. I didn't point it out, but I do this a lot. Like my sweeping sky kind of brings you in towards Pooh Bear. And then I have the I do this a lot, and then I have the clouds kind of pointing. Kind of get a triangle shape. I'll try. Well here I can put some more white on my flowers. Let's go for some heavy white. Thick white. And now it's I'm just being funny. I don't know that you need to do any of this. I'm blobbing it on. I don't know if you can see how thick it is. And I didn't paint that leaf in, but I don't know if I need to. It's already green. Yeah. There. I like the really little bees. Little teeny bees. Mm hmm They're cute. You have to talk up in a high voice. They're really cute. I'm just going to dot. This will be a little bit more than a dot. And then thin out my paint, <clears throat> which is definitely overthinking it. And fill in the wings so they're a little bit more transparent. Mm hmm Oops. <laughs> I don't like that. There we go. Clean, clean little wet brush is helpful. I don't know if you guys could see that even on the stream. I don't know if this is even going to show. All right, I'm going to try and lighten that blue just a smidge or the blue purple. It keeps drying on me because I don't mix, mix much and I have too much water. I got a dry chunk. Palette hazards. <laughs> Susan says, thank you for the bees, bee emoji. <laughs> sure, it's a good idea. Makes it cuter. <clears throat> now, if he's in his uh, cave, where does he live? Does he live in the big tree? I haven't read Pooh Bear in ages. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, he wouldn't have, would he have bees in there? I don't know. Leanne says, adorable. Thank you. It comes to go at the end, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All paintings pretty much do that. I'm just kind of dabbing. I think that's good. I might even come down a little far. It gives a little more roundness. All right, those are probably, bees are probably dry enough. I'm just wiping off the water drips. I forget to do that. I usually... Whoops, I have a rag that I, I use. I feel like I'm breathing loud tonight. <laughs> I don't hear it, so. Okay. That's funny. We listen back and you're just like, <sighs> no. <sighs> okay, I think we're done. Boop, boop. I'm going to take a look at it, excuse me, in the chat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, and the cloud looks so good. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so the video smooths it out. And the clouds look so good at a distance. Give you a little screenshot. Give you a little drive, drive by. A little reality check. Because <laughs> it smooths it out. Oh, here. Yeah, when you're on top of it, sometimes it's hard to like it. And then when you get away from it, you're like, oh, that works. Like the little happy accident streak is really fun that I just got. I feel like singing Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Put my initials on it. I don't know if this color is going to work. It's kind of a light green. 
light blue green. That's not very stiff. It wants to push through the. So I'm kind of pumping it up and down on a piece of paper. I know eventually it's going to puddle. <laughs> there, I think it's going now. Um, I think I'll sign it over here. Okay, guys, does anybody have any comments, questions? Concerns. Concerns. We love hanging out with you. It's Emily's favorite day. <laughs> My favorite day of the week, yes. And when we moved to night, you're like, at, we're going live at, at night. night. <laughs> I keep I forget that we used to do this during the day. At noon. At I noon. I'm glad. Um, that, that's, I mean, I miss some of the noon people, but um, I think that was good, too. It kind of was a, ah, a little less pressure, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I don't know, though. I don't know if it really... You, you just have to do some things several times to feel comfortable doing it. Mm, Gravy says, I'm back. He's back. Oh, hey, we're saying just goodbye. Just the end. <laughs> Here, we'll bring it. I already did this, but we'll just bring it up closer. I was talking about how the clouds don't look very good up close. Cindy says, so sweet. Thanks, Annie and Emily. You're Thank welcome. You. I'm so glad that it's in the public domain. Just the first book. Just the first and one. And just the characters in the first book. Yeah, so like Tigger, I think it's an extra year or two for him. Uh -huh. And no red shirt if you're doing anything. Like, we make a little bit of money with YouTube ads. So the last Pooh Bear we painted with a green shirt because the red shirt is trademarked by Disney. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they still are, but Disney in the art graphic design world is notorious for enforcing their copyrights. <laughs> so you don't want to mess with Disney is what the people would say. Uh, Su Susie says, thank you. And Gravy says, looks beautiful. Hi, guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming. All right. I think I'm going to say goodbye, Em. What do you think? I think it's time to say bye. Okay. So fun to hang out with you. I super, super appreciate everybody's support. We couldn't do this without all of you guys. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.